my room. I was watching as people were coming in. I saw people getting dressed. I saw some of y'all getting dressed at your car. You know who you are. Pastor Crockett. I was like, I thought he was going to drop Alicia off at the door. But I know she just wanted to walk in with you. Dr. Jane Dare, I knew it was you when I saw you walk across the park. I was like, that's Y'all not dentists is here, okay? We've been together for over 20 something years. She's been helping make me beautiful, keep me beautiful. Um, but what I wanted to say was, I want to thank you all so much for coming out. I know that we, back in October, when we decided to try to plan an event, you know, we were still in the pandemic. We didn't know what was going to happen, but we felt we just had, we kept the faith. We believed. And so I want to thank you all for coming out. I want to thank you all for being here tonight. Derek. <laughs> And Derek and um, Jeffrey, thank you all so much for being here. Derek, thank you for coming. I'm, I can't call everybody's name, but it's just some things that are hitting my mind as I'm standing up here talking. And um, I want to thank you all for coming. We do want to um, to remain safe tonight. Your safety is still important to all of us. We don't know that everybody's been vaccinated. We're not taking that for granted. So, so we want to make sure if you do get up from your table, we do ask that you to wear the mask. We're going to have a little bit of entertainment for you tonight, of course. Uh, DJ Fuentes. I want to get some special thanks because I don't want to forget. DJ Fuentes, and a lot of you all, you've been to different parties that I've had release parties and things. DJ Fuentes not only is one of my co-workers, but he has been my DJ from, for you. I don't go anywhere without him. <laughs> uh, Rick, I want to thank you so much. Rick is my cameraman. <laughs> I want to thank, um, Jeffrey came all the way here from Denver. I want to thank you, Jeffrey, for flying all the way from Denver. I think this is your first time probably traveling since the pandemic started. Thank you. Because I know the airports were packed this weekend. My friends Shalonda and John flew here all the way from New Orleans. Shalonda is a world traveler. You all know my best friend, Karen. Well, she's in the hospital tonight, but her sister Shalonda and her husband are here. This was Shalonda, she's a world traveler, but she hadn't gone anywhere since the pandemic. And this was her first time flying Shalonda. Thank you for coming, I truly appreciate it. I just wanna thank all y'all for coming. I want y'all to have a great time tonight. Enjoy yourself. I would say do whatever you wanna do, but, but I'll say that. <laughs> anyway, I want y'all to have a good time. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here with me. Where's Angela? Are you here? Angela and Nancy, would you please stand up? <laughs> I said, y'all know who's going to be at the door. <laughs> Nancy Poindexter, sweet. Nancy, Nancy, thank you so much. I didn't have to do anything for this party except put the dress today. They have organized this thing since October. They've done everything. I want to thank them for that. All of my, I, y'all know I have seven sisters, and I think only one of my sisters is not here. But my sisters, please stand up. Children, and I think three of them are here tonight. First, I want to wish all the mothers happy Mother's Day before I forget. Uh, I think three of my godchildren are here tonight. Would you guys please, and ladies, please stand up? Okay, I want to ask my NES family to stand up. Annette, I want, I want Annette and um, Stephanie to stand up, Stephanie Walton. I want to acknowledge them. They just retired in April and May. Okay, I want um, any of my church members to stand up. I will never forget you, sir. <laughs> my brother's not here, but when he's here, I want to recognize him. And then I want my wonderful brother in law to stand up. <laughs> I want my ex A Lock family to stand up. <laughs> Portia. Way too young. 
But anyway, I've been there 34 and a half years. I was there all of my life. I was 19 when I came. And that little lady back there is the lady I started working with, Deborah Gardner. And she taught me how to be a woman and stand up for myself in the workplace. And then I want all of my other, if you weren't in any of those groups, I want all of my friends who come out to visit me to please just stand up tonight.
determination in my mind. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. That's me. People often wonder, who's singing that song with such joy? I say, when I sing, I allow the spirit to lead, and it leads me to a soulful song of praise and dance, if I may. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman. 
That's me. Now you understand why I wear an invisible crown. I, do, I don't shout or jump about. I don't have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say, it's the clicking of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. I love you, Lemon.
Turn it up. 